this is my Ortur Laser Master 2 setup that I just got recently. And uh, I think I'm one of the lucky ones. I got one of the newer 20 watt versions. It's got the LU1-4 fixed focus lens. And this lens right here extends and retracts. Turn, it doesn't focus the lens. It's the distance from the part. For that, they give you this little focus block. It's 30 millimeters tall. I have found that my best focus is about 31 millimeters. Uh, to get best, best focus, I got one of those USB uh, digital microscopes, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, to do the rotary setup though, I had, you know, of course you have to raise the part. I uh, found these on Thingiverse. Uh, they've got these base plates and then that's 100 millimeters, that's 50. So 150 millimeters plus whatever that is, uh, 10 or 15 or whatever it is brings me up to just the perfect height for cutting uh, on a tumbler here. I also have some 25 millimeter blocks over here if I need them. I added an air assist to this, which was really just 3D printing apart. As you can see, I might have a couple of 3D printers in here. So I just 3D printed apart and it runs, the hose runs up through the top piece here and down underneath the bench where I've got an uh, air pump down here on the ground. Uh, one of the things that nobody really talks about much is I like having a massively bright flashlight. This is an Olight Warrior X. Cause when you put your laser goggles on, you can't see much. Uh, so I like to stand back a foot or two, blast the part and I can see with my laser goggles on. So uh, with that being said, one of the issues I have with this when I raise it way up off the ground is the power cord doesn't quite reach my outlet. Of course, most normal people would just get a little extension cord. Uh, I run mine off a Jackery 1000 portable power supply. I also run the air pump off of that. And then this is the Ortur brick right here. Uh, this thing will run at 25 watts when the air pump and the the jet and the Ortur are on they pulls maybe 30 35 watts or something that'll run for like 30 hours on this device here so i'm in no danger of uh ever running out of juice here i control this with light burn on a mac mini m1 that i just got and when i want to work close i got another wasteboard over here it's just got these little pieces where you can just slide the ore tour in. Uh, both of them, I set little focus block uh, holders up. I designed this little focus block holder, even though it's not really much of a uh, sophisticated design. It just holds a little focus block so I don't lose the thing. So at any rate, that's how I'm using my ore tour laser master uh, two. And I have to raise it up when I do the rotary setup. And I found out with these tumblers that are uh, tapered that I could just take like vinyl sign uh, roll and then just to get it right up to the perfect thickness, I just wrapped a bunch of tape around this thing. So this thing will roll real nice and even. It's probably not perfect, but it's perfect enough. And I, this is a burn I just did this morning. It's uh, the name of the neighborhood that I live in. So, okay, that's it. That's how I do the Ortur Laser Master 2.